Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Dave Bitter, front-end developer at Frontman, and today I have another Friday tip for you. We're gonna have a look at GitHub Actions uh, and how you can automate workflows on GitHub using them. So let's quickly dive into the documentation. And in essence, uh, a GitHub Action runs a pipeline and it consists of a few uh, jobs and every job has a step in there every step has an action in there uh, well you can run this entire workflow on an event so for instance if you push something to the master branch or even uh, with a cron job to do it every certain amount of time and don't have to worry about it anymore in a previous friday tip we took a look at github uh, profile readmes and uh, I thought it was a cool idea to maybe have a look at that profile readme again and try to see whether we can automatically add the latest articles in that readme. If you haven't seen that one, uh, this is what my profile readme looks like. Uh, and when you go to my profile, you can see that uh, it displays it here. Uh, so what I want to do is under this section of writing, uh, I don't just want to link to my website, but also show the latest ones. So let's see how we can do that using these GitHub actions. So I cloned my uh, readme repository locally and I added an index.js file. Uh, we're going to use Node.js to fetch the latest articles uh, from my website and then generate a readme with uh, Mustache as a templating engine. Uh, so what you can see here is that we get the articles uh, and then um, through uh, Mustache uh, we write the result uh, with FS uh, to the readme.markdown file. If you have a short look at the Mustache file, you can see that it is the basic content that I had, uh, except for this new section, uh, which has gets the articles uh, and then renders for every article uh, and list item with the title and the link to it. So to check whether this is working indeed, uh, let's remove this readme file and run the script. See, it adds it back in there and we see all the normal content uh, and the latest articles that I've written. So this is great, uh, this works. And now we want to use this basically uh, every time I either push to the master branch of this repository, uh, but also every two weeks, just to make sure that if I updated an article title or I added a new one, that it uh, gets reflected in this readme file. So let's have a look at the uh, action itself. Uh, I got a folder here called uh, dot github with a folder in their workflows inside that we got a main.yaml and yaml is uh, used to create these configurations so if we click it uh, we have well a logical name uh, the readme build uh, and the cool thing is uh, we have an event so with this on event uh, we can say oh when somebody pushes to the master branch uh, i want to run this job uh, as well as uh, a schedule for now i set it to every sunday here scroll a bit further we got the actual jobs that it needs to do so it's gonna run on the latest ubuntu and uh, we described a few steps uh, what it needs to do so firstly we want to well, check out the current master branch uh, set up node which we need to run our script uh, next, we want to do some caching there, uh, so the execution time is a bit shorter. Finally, we need to install the dependencies that we use, so for instance, mustache. And after that, we can generate the readme file. So we do this by running index.js with node. Then it generates the readme file. And finally, we use this action by Michael to publish the new readme to the repository and to make a commit uh, the final bit here is the env where it needs to be able to 
have the rights to to push it uh, and you do it uh, by passing this github token so that's great i already committed it uh, and didn't push it just to my master branch so that's why we don't have the article list there yet but if i do and we head over to this repository hit refresh we can see that uh, well my commit got pushed and if i go over to the actions tab you can see that our workflow is running so here the main yaml is detected and the event on push uh, is used so if we click this build uh, we can see that it's Growing, going through all the steps. It's setting up node here, using the cache, installing the dependencies, uh, running the file, creating the markdown, and it's committing it into the repo and pushing it. And we got a complete job, so that's fine. So let's now head over back to the code tab. And if we look here, we have our articles. Uh, and that's great. So this is automated. Uh, and every time I push or uh, every Sunday, it's going to run this and get the latest ones uh, just to confirm that it's working. Uh, when I click on this article, uh, I go to my website. So this is great. So from here on out, I can just leave this running. And if I have to worry about it again, I can just publish articles on my website. And I know that this will be updated. And uh, some people might get to read my articles because they find them through this readme. Uh, this is a basic example of what you can do. Of course, uh, there's no limit to this. Uh, you can uh, maybe set up something where it pulls your latest Instagram post or do something else fun. Uh, if you want to see some uh, cool uh, examples, uh, make sure to check out the GitHub profile readme Friday tip, uh, because there we go over uh, a few examples that also use uh, GitHub actions. That's all for today. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.